fuck? How's a man say, yo, <laughs> what was Brinsford like? Might be there soon. Fuck, you know. Hopefully you ain't going jail. Hopefully, like, I mean, you're already in jail watching this and then you're just going to get shipped there. Because God forbid someone's on road anticipating they're going to jail. That's long. What have you got caught for? What's, what's the offence, big man? Robbery. Ah. Oh. How are you getting done for robbery, man? And what did you try to rob? I bet whatever you tried to rob was only worth two, three hundred pounds. I beg, I beg you, fill me in. What did you try to rob? And the thing is, as well, with robbery and that, whatever you try to rob, the sentence will always outweigh what you could have got. I remember, yeah, like when I went to court and they, like, when they obviously said, yeah, you're going to prison, custodial sentence, whatever, ain't cool. Gone down into the holding cells and that. And then um, I met two youths. They're from Finsbury Park, obviously, I'm from Edmonton. And they're talking about, like, yeah, they were both in for robbery. I'm like, how long did you like, get? They're talking about they got two or three years. All right, yeah, 18 months or a year and a half, and that's like blood. You went to jail for a phone robbery. Uh, how much was you going to get the phone for and sell it for? £200? If only you just fucking got yourself a skill, got yourself a trade. This is what I talk about all the time. You're going to be sitting down for three years at some point in your life by way of a classroom or by way of a jail cell behind an iron door with a flat. Oh man, man gone and robbing a phone that he could have shot for two, three hundred pounds and that, end up doing two, three years in jail and that. Well, it's, the mass don't, it don't, it don't make no sense, bro. Oh, you don't, you don't, you don't know. It's your first time going court. Now, you should be all right then, man. If it's your first time and you was a minor, you're not going to jail, big man. Like, unless, you, you you know what I'm trying to say, like, you use some mad force or whatever in that. If it's your first offence, robbery, you ain't going to jail. They're not, I don't, I mean, hey, is it possible? Yeah. If you plead guilty, you ain't going to jail. It's your first offence, you was under the age of 18, and you plead guilty at the first opportunity or plead guilty, nah, fam, you ain't going to jail. They're not going to send you jail. They're not going to send you jail on your first robbery, especially if you plead guilty. You had an offence before, but that didn't go to court. So what was the outcome of that other offence? And is the other offence on your record? Because if you've been nicked, but it was NFA, it doesn't matter. The thing is, yeah, like... Do you think I'll get house arrest? I mean, do you know what? I don't even, I don't really know anyone that re that's been sentenced to house arrest. Obviously, I got tag and shit like that, but like, I don't know. I mean, I'll take house arrest over jail any day. I'm trying to say. To be fair, I don't think you even get house arrest. I don't think, I mean, may maybe you might get tagged. I, I don't think that you, you ain't going to jail. You ain't going to jail. Nah, man, you're not going to go to jail. It's your first offence. You was under the age of 18. Like, with that uh, Stephen Lawrence situation, I think they charged the, the guys as minors because they committed the crime as minors. So they could have been 30, 40 years old when they caught up with them, but they're a minor when they, when they charged them. Yeah, you're not going to go to jail for a first offence. Especially if you plead guilty. And you was under the age of 18 and that. But obviously, it's always a possibility in that, man. Blood, whatever the outcome is, yeah, don't, don't do that again, man. Apparently, they're releasing prisoners in the UK. Well, yeah, that's what I'm here. I'm here. They ain't got no space for them. Certain men are going home early. And you know what? I made a video, you know, saying that, yo, what they need to start doing is putting certain people on house arrest instead. Because... 
Like, it costs the government like 80 grand to keep one man behind the iron door. Imagine that, 80 grand a year. Certain money is costing, is costing the government 80 grand to keep a man behind the iron door. That's too much, man. You need to just be putting these men on house arrest. If you breach, if you violate, obviously, if you're a murderer, fam, you want to really be in your house and your, your neighbours are fucking murderer and that. Imagine living next to Jack the Ripper or one of them men there. Yeah? So you don't want to live next to Bronson, you know what I'm trying to say? Even if he is on house arrest, and that, man might breach. So, obviously, if a man's a dangerous man, then nah, maybe house arrest is not ideal. Certain men need to be locked up. Certain men, they only belong in nightmares. Yeah. So certain men need to be locked up and that. But if it's for phone robberies, you're not a dangerous individual and that. Nah, fam, just house arrest. Even if it's some mad house arrest. Imagine, yeah, like a man would do six months in jail, typically, for that crime. Give him a year house arrest, but that's better than going in jail, fam. Because even if you're on house arrest, some people, oh, I can't work, I can't work. No, you can work work from home hey if you're on house arrest big man you can make tiktok videos and get paid all right you can't go out and spend the money but hey i wouldn't mind listen i don't mind sitting down for a whole year stacking peas what sentence do you think i would get if i do go jail oh, i mean i don't want to start worrying a man and that but like i mean i don't know man do you know what you need to do yeah contact your solicitor i mean you should have a solicitor in that and just ask them about the sentencing guidelines. Like, have you not spoke to your solicitor about this? Because, like, I'm, 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 I'm guessing if you if you spoke to your solicitor about it, they will say to you, it's very highly unlikely they're going to send you to prison. First offence, if you plead guilty as well. They do weekend jail. The fuck? Are you sure you're not talking about DCAT? That's like reverse DCAT, blood. We get to go home on the weekend. I've never heard about no weekend jail. <laughs> Imagine that every Friday evening you have to pack your bag and go to prison. 